Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at BergzergArcade.com and this is tutorial 179. Now we ended our last one a little bit hastily. Uh, last time I uh, had a quickly run. And if you notice here we actually have an error. And if I were to open up that script it's just because we forgot our return type here. So I'll just quickly fix that. We'll make it, uh, we'll save it. And a quick reminder, any function that is static any variables that it references inside of here that are not passed in also have to be static. So our skin color, which we come all the way up here, we have to make sure that's static, and it is. So I'm going to come back over to our skin tone selector, and I've gone ahead and changed the line. Before we were just calling the, it was a player model customization uh, dot skin color. And we were just assigning it our color code. That's not really going to work for what we want because it, it changes the color, but it doesn't actually tell our mesh to update the, well, basically the head and possibly the, the hands or forearms. Uh, some of the meshes, or sorry, some of the textures and materials that come with uh, these this model set actually has short sleeves so you can see the forearm and, and the hands. So we'll also want to update those according to you know what skin color is supposed to be displayed. Uh, so we're actually just going to do all that in the function itself. And we'll come down here. And we'll just be adding that functionality in under here. So let's go ahead and start working on the functionality for our head. We'll start there. So we'll start this up. Uh, I'm actually going to maximize on play. Just so I can see what it's going to look like in my web player. And I'm going to start with the head. I'm going to want to be able to uh, well, start changing the face. And to be honest, I might have to get rid of this flare back here because it is a little bit distracting. And maybe also get rid of the little swirly particle effect back there. And I'll probably actually get rid of this particle effect as well. And yeah, make the scene a little bit blander, but uh, they're kind of a bit of a distraction. But let's go ahead and I'm going to create a button. Uh, basically, when I click on it, it just goes through uh, the different faces. And I can't really think of a new way to do it other than the way we already have here. I have way too many faces to uh, make different buttons for. Well, actually, I do have enough room. I could make them really small and put a nice grid of them up here. But I think I'm just going to go with the same route that we did over here. And... Uh, I really only need one material. If you look at all of our faces, well, at least for my model, they're all diffused. Let me just quickly scroll down. Yes, they're all diffused. So I don't really need all these different materials. I can just create one material and just have all the textures. And then we'll just swap the texture on this one. Uh, I just want to quickly make sure all the main colors are the same and everything else. And it appears to be. So I'm actually just going to come in here. And I'm going to create a new material. And I'm just going to call it male face. And I want to get the exact same color that I have here for the defaults. So I'm actually, well, there's a couple of ways to do it. I'm just going to do it, uh, well, the Mac way. And I'll select here and select it there and I'm actually going to start off with well head 1 1 this texture here so I'm going to take all of these textures I'm actually just going to drag the whole folder down there uh, move this up a bit because I really do want to see what's all in here yeah I'm going to take all of my textures and start throwing them in the resource folder now I'm obviously going to want to divide a lot of these up uh, so the armors and the armor and everything else uh, but for now yeah for now I'm just gonna throw it all in the resource load folder and I can sort through that after off camera and just show you the hierarchy I made if you want to have something to reference by so I'll come down uh, I guess we'll just throw it in the male faces for now since that's what I am working on and it re-imports and I'll pull out the ones I don't need later. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of these text materials right now. I'm going to keep them for now. Uh, eventually I will get rid of them. 
And let me see, I got my male face there, and I want to start with male or the head one one. So this one here. So I'll select my male face and select my O one. I might change this naming convention just a little bit. And I'm actually gonna call it so well. Yeah, I am going to start renaming them. I don't want to call it head, uh, lowercase. I want to have an underscore. The index of this uh, texture, so this is the first one, and then the index of the color. Now, I don't plan on having a bunch of different uh, races in that, but I think maybe I will keep the dot .human part, uh, just in case. So if I scroll down. Uh, should be down at the bottom here and as you notice I'm putting the body type first as opposed to the index and this way here when I start going through and creating all my heads they'll just all be together and of course that should not affect the uh, new material I made it should still be targeting the same one uh, let's go through and do a couple of them I'm going to do all the head ones and I guess the fastest way to get them would be just to click through here. So we'll take that. And I'll select it here. And I'm just going to rename this. So it was head underscore one underscore two dot human. I'm not using any capitals. And that should put it right underneath here. And it should actually be lighter than the other one. And it is. So I'll just go up and I'll select the third one and here it is here and I call it head underscore one underscore three dot human uh, you can pick whatever names you want you just make sure that you have some sort of you know, logic in picking the names alright so I've got those done uh, let's also go with uh, the second ones just so we have a bit of variation so I'm going to come in and we'll do head underscore two underscore one dot human. And the next one, we got to make sure we select it. Head underscore two underscore two. Oops, I missed up there. Uh, dot human. And I'm going to want the third one, which looks like it's right here. So head underscore two underscore three dot human. And I'll go down to the bottom, make sure they're all there, and they're all right. So they're all under, oh, right here, I didn't do an underscore. There we go. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. So they all look spelt right. So let's go up here and start making a folder for them just so I know what's separated. And I'm also going to get rid of the ones I've already done just so I know where I left off. I've done the full set of ones and twos, so I'll just delete these. And um, I'm actually going to start creating the hierarchy of the folders because, like I said, it is starting to get messy. So, character, an under character, which is probably way up here. I'll make a new one, folder faces, and I guess under there I'll actually make another one for human, and another one under that for male. Obviously way more than I needed, I want my folder structure to have capitals. Now obviously this is way more than I need, but you know, it's not that bad. I should easily be able to um, expand on that later without having to create more structure. So the first thing I did was, whoops, let's shrink this down up here. The first thing I did was just go ahead and drop my uh, default material in there. And now that I have that, I'm going to create one more folder and I'm just going to call it textures. And the textures that I do have done, now I haven't bothered to check their import settings. Uh, texture type advanced. Um, the texture is small enough. Let me see, it is 512 by 512, but as far as the actual 
character goes, it might be small enough that we really don't need mint maps. Uh, it's not going to change a whole lot. Like if you look at it, 170.7, it'll make it a little bit smaller. I actually made it quite a bit smaller. So that might be something I want to look at to see if I really do need the mint maps. If you're not sure what mint maps are, just head to Wikipedia. They'll give you an explanation. Basically, it's kind of like an LOD for textures. But I'm going to grab all these and I have them done. So we'll put them up. Uh, if I can just keep scrolling up. <laughs> and I'll just drop them in that folder we created, which is way up here. And this just gives me a, a place to know, you know, which ones are done. I am going to create a female folder up here, even though I don't really need it yet. Uh, if I spell it right. I might just actually, Fro Games did have a female package on the go, but they've canceled it. Uh, so I might just go ahead and load up my male models and just kind of shape it into a female. If they actually don't come up with a female one, because it would be nice to have female playable characters, or at least women in the world anyway. So we'll close that up. And I still have quite a few more textures to go through here. Let me open this back up. And it looks like we're already over 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna stop the recording, uh, go through, finish off all these textures and get them all up into my texture folder named uh, the proper name. And I'll see you in the next tutorial where we'll start implementing all these. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.